The Human Song I have come to sing the human song. What miracles we are. These sensory bundles of ash, harvesting each jolt and shock that assaults perception, converting them to energy which buzzes through our nerves. All of us are humming constellations of impulse, feeling, thought. And yet, how hard it is to shape our electric cells into the arbitrary forms of family work and obligation. This is why I salute you all for getting out of bed, which is an act of courage, for bearing the weight of the daily news which streams through papers, screens and radios, and all of your personal headlines which may not seem like much to the world, but to you are mountains to be scaled, avalanches risked by misplaced footing. It takes courage to gather like this, in spite of all the shit, and listen to the poet's song, to overcome the voice that says, I have no time for poetry. To that voice I say, I would never abuse you, with honey-coated lies or idiotic reassurances. I know my saying pain will pass doesn't soften its sting in the present. That although I can say suffering is only static in your brain, it can feel like the electric chair. And yet, we somehow keep ourselves together, defying the laws of entropy, however tempting its dark pool. To live is an act of defiance that each of us choose, or most of us do. And so, despite the madness of the modern world, search for your hidden truth and recite it secretly. This world has too impure an atmosphere for your truth to walk forward naked, blazing with the glory of its light. But do not bury it so deep that you can no longer catch its rays. For that is the light which will be your strength when all seems made of shadow. It is what we begin to glimpse at moments like this, when we gather for a common cause and begin to sense that static fizz which buzzes between us all.